Good day and welcome back to a World of Warcraft video. It's been a while, but I'm back on the channel. I'm going to be doing a lot more content here. Uh, just managed to get a couple things in place. Uh, and first thing I want to talk about is basically uh, Seasons of Discovery. So, you know, when it comes to Seasons of Discovery, uh, it's a classic game mode. Basically, it's seasonal gameplay within classic. It's very interesting. There's a whole bunch of new mechanics and power progressions and things like that, which are really, really cool. Uh, and basically, going to talk you through some of the best classes that you can kind of go for. Uh, and essentially, you know, why you should go for them. So we're going to be breaking these classes up into kind of like the really good ones, uh, into the kind of decent ones, and then kind of into your last picks. But go with whatever you want. Uh, honestly speaking, it doesn't really matter so much uh, as long as you're having fun playing the game. Uh, so the first one we're going to start off with is Hunter. So a Hunter is a exceptional class. Lots of great things. Uh, open world content is easy to do. They're good in PvP. Uh, they have great damage output. All the things that they basically, um, you know, like had in the original classic experience has just been augmented by the ruins that have been introduced with Season of Discovery. Um, the thing with Hunter is they are probably going to always be nerfed to a certain extent just due to how they function. Uh, you also basically are hard-coded into taking certain pets for highly competitive guilds uh, and they are still Hunters. Uh, unfortunately, they probably benefit the least from the new systems. They don't play super duper interestingly. The next is going to be Priests. So priests are super duper interesting. Um, priests, you know, greatest healers in the game. I guess that's pretty easily. But the big thing with priests uh, is they're actually quite nice to level up. Uh, the healing and the way the ruins have worked has basically allowed them to have a good leveling experience. They are also probably the best healers in the game. Uh, and the ruins give them a nice kind of playstyle. Uh, it gives them good flexibility in terms of healing. It makes their healing a really enjoyable experience. They suck when it comes to DPS. At least at this current point in time. Uh, so, yeah. I would maybe steer clear of them for a DPS spec. But overall, they are pretty good uh, as just kind of like your generic healer. I mean, great healing class. Next, we come to Pally. Uh, Pally, which is the one I'll be probably playing this season, uh, is a great tank, um, but it has good flexibility. Um, good tank, best tank, probably a really good healer, and also a decent DPS. So basically, it's one of those specs that's actually really good uh, to take if you're not too certain which you want to play. Do you want to play tank? Do you want to play DPS? Do you want to play healer? This class, with the way the ruins and their system works, actually is really good. The ruins affect each different spec quite nicely. Uh, the healing spec is super effective. Tanking is fantastic. Um, any big con is no matter which spec you play, your rotation still feels a little bit sluggish uh, comparative to maybe other classes. So it's a bit of a shame uh, when it comes to that. Then we have uh, Warlock. Let's just choose something cool for Warlock. No, you can't go Warlock on a troll. There we go. Perfect. Uh, so for Warlock, uh, basically, big thing with Warlock is... So Warlock kind of... <coughs> Warlock has a very big change. So Warlock, uh, interestingly enough, actually has a uh, tanking spec now uh, for this seasonality, which is really, really cool. Uh, it's a whole new spec for them. Uh, it is super duper hard slash complex. So like for new players, I would not suggest it at all. Uh, but it is really fun. Um, it is really good. They're good for leveling because of that. Because your DPS, you've got your minions. Uh, or you can go your tank spec with your dots. And it's really, really good. Um, the tanking spec is um, obviously... So, it's not something you get immediately. You have to kind of work your way through to it because obviously the way you unlock ruins and all that. So, it's not something you're going to really be able to level as, but it's good for the solo experience. Um, 
it's really cool and warlocks continue to have such great like utility just ability to aid the party uh, affliction kind of sucks um warlocks continue to be an incredibly complex class for players to handle um and those are kind of the cons and then we get to druid um so before we go into druid uh i would just like to say that all three of these classes so hunter priest pally warlock are probably your top tier picks so these are probably like your top 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 tier picks for like uh world of warcraft so or seasons of discovery right now so next we have a uh, druid uh so druid i would say druid rogue and maybe shammy are kind of like decent picks so they're good picks they're not like amazing but they're pretty good druid obviously continues to be just good like uh, similar to pally but it's like a worse version of pally at least currently in season discovery uh, it's basically kind of just like a worse version of pally uh, it's good uh, in pvp and pve healing is not working too great and it is a bit difficult for new players but it's yeah Basically, it's a worse version of Pally, but it's got a bit of a faster rotation, obviously a different kind of lore aesthetic, uh, and it does have some really cool utility, you know, the forms, the various travel and traversing, so it is really good. Um, Rogue, so Rogue is just DPS, as always. Um, Rogues can now tank. Again, they kind of could always tank in, in Classic. Uh, there was always a funny song um, where you used to have a Rogue be the MT, uh, just you know, where they could build evasion and things like that. And, um, yeah, rogues can I actually legitimately tank. Um, but rogues do suffer a little bit early on. Uh, very similarly to Warlock, it's a bit difficult to actually become a tank. It's not something you get straight away. It's not like an instant. So if you're looking to play tank rogue, it's not going to happen immediately. But they're great at DPS and they're super fun. They're the fastest, funnest class or fastest class and one of the funnest classes to play in terms of playstyle and runes just make that really awesome and then we get to shammy shammy again uh, is yes all three specs but again not fantastic uh so shammy much like the other classes so warlock and rogue has had tanking added in uh, i haven't been changing my uh has has had tanking added in uh to the game it's not amazing, um, but it's okay. Uh, healing is also okay, but generally speaking, it's just okay. Like, Shammy is uh, all of the kind of uh, jack of all trades spec. Shammy feels like it suffers the most uh, overall. And then we come to Warrior. Uh, so, Warrior is obviously, you know, they, they're good in group situations, but basically. They're not great in open world content. Um, like, they're not great on their own. They're a bit boring, a bit difficult to play. Um, they feel a little bit weak um, on their own. But if you're playing with friends and you want to roll a warrior, that's a really fun class to use with friends. They can make up for the deficits that you have, and your experience can be really awesome. So, if you're party playing, warrior is more than fine. Uh, and then we come to like it. Probably my worst pick, uh, which would have to be, wow, yes, no mage, yeah, worst pick, <laughs> mage. So mage can heal now, which is super interesting, um, but they just feel a little bit not really there just yet. Uh, of course, we'll have to see once we get to like the super late game, but realistically speaking, at this point in time, um, I would say they're probably the most lackluster class just because of the limitations of the fact that you can't hit the max level just yet but with that being said um they could be really really good down the line so don't rule them out uh, but yeah just give them your best try and of course uh yeah i hope you guys enjoy the video this is just a suggestion so uh let me know what you guys think i'm going to be rolling this season uh, probably as a pally i think i'm going to be rolling season as a pally uh, and just seeing where we can go from there. But yeah, that's uh, that's going to be it for me. Thanks guys for watching. And uh, I'd like to hear what you guys think the best classes are.
if you've been playing Season of Discovery, give people some tips down below. Uh, and yeah, but that's going to be it from me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye.